How's it going, everybody? Blake here. And Jordan, what's going on, guys? We are at the Rolling Sands Moto Beach Classic. We made it out. There he is, the man himself. Um, for a little bit of race and show, we've got the Janus air cooled 450. So we're gonna get it out on the track, but also do some show with it. Yeah, so the show, the event today is pretty sick, man. We got a bunch of murals up. Uh, Roland did a great job getting a bunch of diverse bikes out here. And uh, can't wait to have some fun, yeah. go bike show and do some races. So we got practice done earlier this morning. It went well, we ended up P1. The bike was feeling really good. We did have a little bit of an issue with the rear brake overheating. Me being a little new to the flat track hooligan style, a little heavy on it, but uh, that's essential for this type of racing. And uh, so we had heat race, or the, the first race, which is the heat, and we went uh, P3. So feeling good for the main. We're getting ready for that right now. Um, check it out and uh, see how it does. No, I did. No, I, he was he was the next on the list. If the track, if the moto was longer, yeah, you need you know, twelve laps. He's he was good for our first our first official outing now um, on a bit of a different track than what we were expecting or what we're used to. It's good, good showing for the Janus, and uh, maybe next year we'll come back in force. Well, from my perspective on today, it would have been nice to to race against the big twins. We didn't. So run what you're brung. We had to go against bikes that you wouldn't normally race against. And so like a supermoto, flat track, you know, Honda 450 dirt bike, uh, those bikes are running the fastest lap times here today. Yeah, right, and right. so what I'm more curious about is going up there and looking at our race time, time our, our race lap time, and comparing that against the V-Twin Harleys and the Indians that have 110 horsepower plus, and seeing where we, where we would have finished with, against those bikes with the same weight throwing around on the track and uh and that to me that's the win so uh i think we we did a better lap time than all the hooligan classes and i'm curious where we would have finished based on lap times in the super twins pro class 
Jordan Lake here. The Janus race bike did extremely well at Moto Beach Classic, the Rolling Sands event out in California. And uh, we got to put in a lot of laps. So uh, by watching the bike, getting rider feedback from Blake, and uh, just kind of putting the bike through its paces and seeing where we're, where we're at, what we're lagging, where their issues are, um, that kind of sets us up to know what we need to do next. Uh, we are going to raise the foot pegs up about an inch to an inch and a half, give us more lean angle so we can use up all the tread, what's left on the sidewall of the tires. Um, handlebar mounts. We're going to raise the handlebars up three inches and back three inches, a little more comfortable for the rider. It also gets the weight off the front end and off their shoulders. Uh, rear sprockets. We are going to need a multitude of sprockets uh, so we can run the gear ratio specific for the track and the track conditions. Uh, meaning we want to run first to second and stay there or second to third and stay there. Uh, that just makes it smoother, less shifting, using up the RPM range for that specific track. And this motor has a lot more in it. We couldn't use it coming out of those corners, uh, mainly because we didn't have the gear ratio specific for the track conditions. But we still got second, which is great. And uh, that's what we're going to need to do to go towards that uh, first place win. Uh, rear brakes are going to get changed because we boiled them over in practice. So we're gonna to need to go to a larger single piston or a dual piston rear brake system set up. And then a little bit of work to the clutch. That's pretty much what we need to do to get this bike race ready. And that's what's next. This bike is brand new. Uh, it's not like it's been raced for the past three to five years in the community. So we have to do a lot of phone calls and behind the scene emails and communication to find out what we're eligible and uh, what class rules and requirements are needed for us to race this bike. So that's what we're doing right now is finding out where we can go next and uh, pretty much what races and classes are eligible for us to run. So as soon as we get that information, we're going to let you know. We, we built the bike and it meets all of the rules and regulations for a Super Twins class, either AFT or Hooligan series. Uh, the issue is we are running a single cylinder engine. So everything from the bike, from how much it weighs to the, the length of the bike, Everything on it is uh, pretty much Super Twins class rules, except we're running a single cylinder engine. So we're gonna get out there and find out uh, where we're gonna be next, and we're gonna let you know, and you can come out and see the, the whole race fam, the race bike, and Blake Wharton run the bike. And uh, wherever we go next, we're gonna let you know. And also, the goal is to go from second place and get up there in the winner's circle. All right, guys, thank you very much, and we'll see you at the races.